watch you guys now we all know how important it is to back up your data uh, just in case something happens okay now backing up data has never been more easier today so I thought I'd make a video and showing you how to automatically back up to a cloud-based uh, drive like SkyDrive, Dropbox, Google Drive something like that and what it's going to do is incrementally back up to the SkyDrive okay in the background so that means all your data is going to be on the SkyDrive and it will be encrypted and you'll be able to access it anywhere in the world and get all your data whenever you want it okay so this is going to be a great way of backing up now if you've got a bigger account you can actually back up your computer and stuff like that even to the cloud so let's go ahead and have a look at how to do this it's pretty straightforward first off you're going to need a SkyDrive account because that's what I'm going to be using in this video so if you want to follow along you're going to need to get a SkyDrive account but you can also use Dropbox or Google Drive or any of the others okay now if you haven't got one of these then all you need to do is come down to the sign up page and uh, put in some details your email address and also a password and basically clarify that that is your email address and away you go you'll get seven gigabytes for free once you get that done you're gonna need a free program which is called Duplicati it's an awesome bit of kit it really is and it's free so if you want to donate for this then you can donate by coming down to the donate button there I'm not affiliated in any way shape or form with this guy so I won't be getting a cut of the money or anything like that it all goes to his fund okay and also if you look here you can also encrypt the actual data that's getting sent up there okay so it's encrypted so if someone does access it it will be encrypted and passworded which means pretty much they aren't going to be able to look at the data anyway okay so it's great for a free uh, piece of software another one you're going to need is AES crypt which is a piece of software that's going to allow you to unencrypt all the data once you've uh, got it down onto your system now the problem is you may not want to encrypt it which is okay you don't need this program and you won't need to access the encryption part in the program you can just leave it all unencrypted if you wish okay but if you're paranoid Pete then you may want to actually uh, encrypt all your files okay let's get started anyway so the first thing we need to do is install our duplicati I think that's how you pronounce it probably butchered the name but there you go so we're gonna go in and go next here accept next next and install just gonna go through the motions here and launch duplicati okay so what we want to do here now is we've got three options open to us set up a new backup which is the one we're going to be choosing but you can also restore files from a backup here and also restore your settings from a previous duplicate uh, installation so let's click on the actual set up a new backup go next now we need to create a backup name so I'm just going to call this one um, I'm going to call this Brightech PC okay the next thing we need to do is you can add it to a group if you wish I'm going to go next here now we've got some options open to us which is my documents so you can see here uh, include documents now you're going to have a lot more documents in here this is uh, just a test machine but basically you can include music uh, applications and stuff like that or you can add custom folders okay which is other areas that you may want to do now if you do that obviously this disables the top part and then you would have to do all your own custom folders that you wish okay I'm just going to keep it on my documents uh, for this one to make it easier go next and this is where we can set up our encryption okay now you can set up your encryption uh, to AES 256 encryption so I'm going to enter my password here I'm making mine pretty simple so now we get a choice of where we want to store our backups and this is going to basically be SkyDrive for us now you can choose any of the other ones if you wish now once we've done that we need to put in here our passport uh, username and password this is going to be our username for our SkyDrive the one you've created so I'm going to type mine in now you won't be able to see it because I'm going to blur it out
okay and then we need to put in a password for that account and then you need to name a folder what you want to call it okay so I'm going to call mine Brightech and that needs to be on your uh, SkyDrive I'll show you in a second we need to create this folder folder created and then now we can test our connection connection su successful or succeeded and then go next now this is an area which you can skip if you wish or you can put the ticks all in these to go through it and have a good look at the advanced uh, settings so we're going to put the ticks in just to show you okay now this is where you can set up and run uh, intervals for backup okay in the background and what time and date and what days you want it to happen okay every day every week every second week and so on okay or you can create your own custom times and dates and days okay now if you don't want to do it on a Saturday or you just want to do it on a Sunday you just take the ticks out it's pretty self-explanatory really okay so I'm gonna leave mine like that for now because I haven't got the time to set it all up uh, full incremental uh, strategy which means each month each day each second week and so on so you can set this up incremental then full after this period so I'm gonna leave it on this go next never keep more than this many full backups that means it's gonna keep up to four well I'm just gonna say one okay but you can set this to whatever you like and this means that it won't keep getting uh, too large so if you want to set this to two you could do depending on how much space you've got I suppose really if you've got buckets of space up there then you can set this to whatever you like never keep backups older than this one month you can one day one week you can set this up how you wish pretty self-explanatory stuff really okay ignore the modification uh, time strap when making incremental backups go next now this is where you can do uh, your upload uh, speeds your upload limit and stuff like that download limit you can set it up here if you wish when you put this in it will let you know exactly how much juice you want to give it to download and upload okay here is your actual edit your filters so you could add and remove more field uh, more places in here okay and this will filter it out there is a help file on there as well and this bit be very careful in here okay so this is the actual override settings and as you can see here you've just got to be a bit careful when you're in here so go okay, once you've put ticks in and just find something that's going to be useful so no encryption and you could put the tick in there and then it will go true there okay I'll try and find something a little bit less so log file so if you went like this click on this and click on here you could put true or false and then that would actually do that for you okay so I'm going to leave this as is so running the background now so before I do this I just want to go to my actual sky drive and log in okay, so here we are in my sky drive as you can see we've got a folder up here which I created you just create a new folder called Brightech and everything is going to go into this folder okay now you can set this up how you wish um, to whatever you like work whatever you want to do uh, as you can see it's a free account but this does allow you to go up to a considerable amount more space so if you want to get more space you just click on this and you can see here 20 gigs 50 gigs 100 gigs okay and basically you'll see what that will cost you per year which isn't too bad really since you're going to be be able to back up all your data to there okay okay 
so now we've got our uh, folder set up I'm just gonna go back to my program here and go run in background now finish and down in the bottom right hand side here you can see it's running and this is what it's doing it's waiting to upload and it's now going through the motions here okay it's going to work in the background and it's going to upload it to my actual Brightech folder here in the background whilst we're working and it will be encrypted and all my stuff's going to be in there so we'll come back to that in a second okay so why that's doing that we can get rid of this now we don't need that so while that's doing that what I'm going to do is add in my AES crypt just going to drag this onto the desktop here and we're going to install this on the system going to go next here and next again this one's pretty uh, painless and that's now done so the files will now be able to open so while that's doing that you can see here on the quick actions we have pause pause for five minutes and so on okay stop current backup or you can go into throttle options here now throttling is basically trimming the amount of uh, juice that is to upload and download so you can throttle the amount of power it's using if it's taking away bandwidth so you can do that in there and uh, there's your actual wizard there if you wish and your options so you can open up your options and there you can see pending backups is now pending this one which is now working in the background and this will be where our completed backups will be okay so I'll come back to this when it's all finished so while that's doing that let's just take a look at the actual footprint of that program to see what's happening here and as you can see it's not really using much at all really of the CPU the performance side of things it's okay so it's not resource take resource hungry it's not really eating up all the resources of the computer I can actually still use the computer pretty fine and there you can see the actual backup is now being completed here so we need to do and that's only 21 megabytes but you won't notice it working in the background um, so it's a good feature so let's open up our SkyDrive account now I'm going to go into here and I'm going to double click on these to download these I'm going to make a backup folder on my desktop here. Go straight to the downloads folder. We can just highlight these and drag them straight into our folder here. And you can see they've actually got encryptions on them. So if I, do, if I right click on this now and use the AES decrypt, it's going to ask me for the password. It's OK. And that's volume 1 you can see. It's now decrypted that. Do volume 2. Now I would suggest you make these passwords a lot stronger than what I've done in this video. You can see it's backed up family picks and loads of downloads that we've uh, downloaded onto the system and that will be all your data now you can also restore these by using the actual duplicate uh, program it will actually install that back onto the system as well by using the restore uh, function so all we need to do here is open up the wizard and then edit an existing backup remove an existing backup or restore files from a backup and then that's basically what you do you just go through the motions really and it will restore the latest uh, the list of backups click on this 
restore to what folder you want to do it so we'll say do it to another folder we just put here on the desktop and then it will start to restore those you can see it's downloading the content from the uh, actual sky drive so you don't have to download it the way I did it and put them into here you can actually do it using the actual program itself as well okay so that's now completed and if we go into our folder which we just created we should be able to see family pics and so on okay documents there's your documents important work and if we went back into our actual original place you will see important and work is there and also pictures family pic you'll see them there okay so it's pretty straightforward so i hope you enjoyed it i hope your video helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them and i'll be making more useful videos again in the future if you've got any video requests, then send me a message on YouTube and uh, I'll do my best to make those videos for you. So have a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.